Farah Hanoun backstage alongside Saif Saud, head coach of Abdul Karim Sarwari, who just became the new Brave Combat Federation lightweight champion. Congratulations, coach. Thank you very much. Uh, what were your thoughts on his performance? Um, what can you say with the first round finish? Uh, it's unfortunate that Lucas got hurt, but it's a takedown that created that. And he was lighting him up on the feet, you know, hit him with multiple right hands and rocked him and had him hurt. And, uh, for Abdul to take out a kid that was 20 and 3. Uh, with wins in the UFC, and he got cut off with a win. He's a really tough opponent, a uh, really dangerous opponent, so I'm really, really pleased. Did the fight play out the way you thought it would, especially on the feet? Uh, it did. We, we wanted to fake and fake. We know he's a counter striker. We wanted to draw him out. I think that worked, you know, being patient. I think that they thought that we were going to rush in uh, for the takedown. And we wanted to take him down. Uh, we saw Mursad Bektik's fight, uh, where Mursad took him down and controlled him. And that was definitely part of the game plan. We, we wanted to make sure that we were patient about it, and Abdul just did a great job. Even though the fight wasn't very long, uh, he stuck to the game plan to the letter. As he, you know, was very patient, finger faking, landing that big right hand and rocking him. So we're, I was really, really happy with it. Definitely a lot of positives to take from that, even though it was a super short fight. Uh, he was also able to land it with a pickup slam takedown as well, which is pretty impressive because I feel most people felt that Sirwadi is a lot smaller than Miniero, that maybe he would struggle a little bit with the takedown. Uh, what were your thoughts when you saw that slam takedown? Well, the thing about Abdul is that he works so hard in his strength and conditioning. Uh, he does so much on his own that people think he's small, but he really is very strong. And he goes with, we have, you know, a lot of guys that are in the UFC and he trains with the 70 pounders and the 35ers and holds his own all day long. So I'm never really worried about his strength, even though he's not very tall in stature. Um, he's a pretty strong kid. And do you think he should ever make the move down? I know he's content here, but uh, a lot of people feel that maybe he could fight at 45. What are your thoughts? Well, I mean, he's so lean. You see how lean he is at 55. And you really got to look at a guy and see uh, how strong he is. And how he feels at that weight uh, and kind of go from there. I think he's really, really strong. Uh, but, you know. Uh, prior prior to, to this fight, I was talking to him and you about how your team has been on fire and now he comes in and captures the title. You guys have a couple of fight, big fights coming up as well. I mean, what does that mean for the team's momentum to have somebody come back to the gym with a championship? Well, I mean, it's always good for guys to win, right? You always want the result to be a positive one, and, and I think that, uh, you know, the guys are doing really well right now. Uh, it's not a secret. They're, you know, on a run and have been on one for a while and uh, are collecting, you know, belts and, and titles and wins and, and all the organizations. You know, we've got double-digit people now in the UFC, double-digit people in LFA. Uh, we won five belts in LFA. Uh, this belt, we're fighting for another belt in LFA later on. Uh, we've got some other good stuff coming up too. Uh, we've got a girl that just joined our team that's pretty pretty tough. So uh, a lot of good stuff in the works. We just got to keep working and keep our heads down and keep on moving. I mean, this sport, you're only as good as your last fight, literally. You know, next weekend will be somebody else. I mean, tomorrow will be somebody else. Uh, and the UFC will be on and nobody's going to care about this. So this was a big fight for tonight. And I'm very proud of Abdul. He moves on in his journey. Uh, but, you know, and we move on as well. What's next for him? The co-main event, uh, sorry, excuse me, not the co-main event, but earlier in the night, uh, Luan Santiago had a win over Jamia Chan. Do you see him as a potential next opponent? And yeah, I mean, that's the thing about when you have the belt, right? You've got to defend it. Um, you know, he's 10-1, and one and uh, I just got done posting him. His opponent's records are 58 and 17 or 18 in his last three fights. I mean, if that's not impressive, I don't know what it, what it is. So, we'll kind of see what's on the table for him. Um, sit down and chat and kind of see where we want to go from here. All right, Coach, thank you so much and congratulations again. Thank you.